Hey everybody, how's it going? What is up? Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. This is part two, bit of a ways after part one because I've been a little busy. Uh, continuing the story, I've done quite a bit off stream and off of YouTube uh, to do side quests, explore, get a lot of stuff. I've gotten the double holster, the second holster so I can dual wield pistols. I'll show you guys the map. As you can see, I am here at the tent, at the camp. Uh, for the Vanderlyn gang ready to continue the story missions look at all, all the map that I have explored now I most of this was all fog of war last time you guys saw but I have run about and explored a large majority of the current map I've got a couple side missions going on uh, to do but I've got one two three four story missions that we're gonna do hopefully today and tonight I did, however, complete accidentally one story mission involving Kieran. If you remember him from the last stream, he was the gang member from the uh, from Colmel Driscoll's gang, who we ended up tying up, and he ended up giving up a location of the O'Driscoll of the O'Driscolls, one of their hideouts. He believed Colm would be there. So myself, as Arthur Morgan, John Marston, and Bill Williamson all went there looking to kill Colm. There was a lot of O'Driscolls that we ended up killing, and I introduced some stealth mechanics, but Colm ended up not being there. And we almost got killed by one of the O'Driscolls, but Kieran actually saved our life. As a result, we let him go back um, <clears throat> to the camp, which he wanted, as my horse poops in the corner there. Gotta love that horse poop. Realism. Uh, so we let him back into the camp, and now he seems to have become an official member of the gang, having proven his worth. And now what we're doing is we're going to go around, we're going to do some more missions around the camp. Uh, we're going to check out, we're going to see what Hosea wants. We're going to go talk to uh, Leopold Strauss. We're going to go check on the Reverend as well. Then we're probably going to go talk to Dutch. Um, because that has to do with the fallout of what happened in the story mission that I did with Kieran. And then we want, also want to go do this Javier Escuela mission where we're going to try to rescue Sean, a member of the gang, from the from bounty hunters that are holding him in Blackwater. Hopefully we'll be able to get all those story missions done before the end of the stream. So, let's get going. We're going to wander over here over to Jose and see what he wants. <clears throat> By the way, I have mo I have enacted the mobile app on my phone. Looks like we're going to go hunting with Osea. I'm, I enacted the, the uh, mobile companion app so way I can have the mini map on there, which allows me to move my camera lower. Um, all my little information will be down below. Um, and you'll be I won't be cutting off heads in the cutscenes. I also enabled subtitles so that people could read what I'm playing. Footballers, you ask me how much money do I have? I have 4,000... Let's see, four thousand nine hundred eight dollars. I did have five grand, which I collect done by collecting gold bar side missions um, earlier on. Um, but I just gave away a hundred to the family uh, just south of Valentine that's building the house. I've been helping them out. I've uh, fended them off from attackers and whatnot. I've also done a couple bounties, by the way. But let's get this started. As I'm in the middle of the mission, Jose, we'll uh. You want to go hunting? We'll talk about what I've done. What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. Bear hunting. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading? Exactly? We gonna go kill a Up bear. Up the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Get a new horse? Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this Tennessee Walker. I built up like a perfect thing for him. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. But I do have the money to buy a really good horse, though. That's the good thing. That, that, that horse just keeps on taking a crap. If I'm near him. You're ashamed by the lack of the beard on Arthur? I like to keep him mostly clean shaven. He has had a beard a couple times when I've been running around. So. 
Hopefully I'll be able to get myself a really good horse. I technically have a, one of the fastest horses unlocked, so maybe once I get to the stables I'll get him. Buy some more pink clothing. Hey Cam. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. It does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. All right. Um. Yeah. Footballers. Don't let that big bastard Never mind. get the better of you, there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, he's doing just fine. He's all right. He's a pain in the ass, but he's fine. Um, yeah, I got all the, my money from doing the gold bar stuff. So there's a couple of treasure chests. Um, um, or treasure maps, I mean. If you go to, I'll actually show you right now. If you actually go all the way up, this is where I got uh, like four gold bars. It's a, it's a trek. You have to go all the way up here to Cairn Lake. And if you go right here to this cabin, you find a map and you follow all the locations of that map. You basically go to four different points, each with like maybe a piece of jewelry or a little bit of money and then another map to the next thing. And then when you get to the final place, you get four gold bars. And then I also went, where is it? All the way, it's up around here. Yeah, right over here by this mysterious hero home, there's these statues and all the statues have different fingers and, and numbers on them. And digits, and you have to do the prime numbers, which is, I believe, it's uh, three, five, and seven, or two of them. I or three of them. I think it's two, three, five, and seven. And you have to hit the switch on all of those, and it'll allow you to allow this central one to open up, and there will be three gold bars in there. And each gold bar sells for five hundred gold, uh, five hundred dollars. So that's three times five. That's fifteen plus another two grand. So that's 35 grand right there. And that's where I got most of it. And then there's another guy over down here. Yeah, right over here. No, not by Valentine. Where is he? He's further south. He's right around here. There's a guy down here where you can buy a map off of him for 10 bucks. And you do a series of, uh, like, th it's the same thing as the last map. Series of maps. And at the end of it, I think you get another one to three. It might e might be two. Like, two gold bars. That's another thousand dollars. That's where I got most. Of and then, if you go down to, right, like, a little south of the camp down. Here's Valentine. The camp was down around here. I think it's here in Lippany. It's an abandoned, burned-out town. If you go into the sheriff's office... There is a lockbox underneath his desk, which you can open up for another gold bar, and that's another five hundred dollars. So that's pretty much where I got my five grand was doing all of, or is getting all of those gold bars. Hey. I'm going out to the general store, get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. All right, let's let's get ourselves a new horse. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse, something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? 
No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, let's see. Sell or stable the horse? We'll stable him. We'll stable him. I don't need to. I don't need to buy anything. We got the Morgan, the American Standard, which is a really good racehorse, the Dutch Warmblood, the Thoroughbred, which I have unlocked, and the Ardennes. The Thoroughbred is the one that I have that I've been, that I got for free. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with that one, the Thoroughbred. Because, yeah, he is by far the best one. I have the money to buy every single one of the horses, but I'm going to pick up this Thoroughbred. The Thoroughbred and that one. I'm going to name him Rick. Because he's the best. He's the best, fastest, and the greatest. Then I'll name the rest of Rest Arn. <laughs> Arn, Oli, and I gotta buy, get three more that I'll name Arn, Oli, and Tully. Uh, attack and services. Attack. Saddles. I just want to go over all this stuff. So these are all the different pre-purchase saddles. Nuevo Paraiso. Which ain't too bad looking. But I can't really change the color on it. Whoops, didn't mean to buy that. I kind of like the that one, that, that saddle. Damn it, I gotta stop doing that. I'm not paying attention, I'm just spending money. I'm just hitting X. I just did it again. I keep hitting X to go to like all the different versions. Oi, and as you guys can see, my honor is up, so... So I get a 25% discount on all this stuff. Luckily, I can afford to screw up like this. I want only the best saddle for my horse. I like this Garden Vaquero one. Let's see what all the improved... Ooh, I like that one. I like the Chestnut and Walnut finish. Ooh, Hickory and Chestnut. Look at that design. Charcoal and Ash. A little too dark. Tan and Natural. Let's see. There's the Chestnut and Walnut here. And the hickory and chestnut. I don't really see much of a difference. I think the colors stand out a little bit more. Ah, I see. It's a little more tan in the back. I think I'm going to go with this, the hickory and chestnut. That'll be his saddle. Saddlebags. Upgraded saddlebag. I like the chestnut. Weathered walnut, weathered chestnut, weathered hickory. Go with chestnut. Stirrups. Phillies. I like the Baroque ones. Slim iron stirrup. Belled one. I like the belt one. Safety. I kind of want to just get the most expensive one. Should be these. Ah, yeah. It, ex it increases his speed and acceleration. Allows him to max it out. Hell yeah, I'm buying these. Buying those hooded ones. Horns. Ah, okay. I'm just going to get the most expensive one. Ooh, Brass Eagle. Look at that.
Nothing but the fanciest for my boy. Why is that not going away? The game does that some... There we go. Now it's gone. Yeah, Brass Eagle. Brass Eagle. It's the most expensive and I've got the money. Blankets. Rio Bravo. Looks like these are all $9. Where even are the blankets? Are that is that is these them? Oh no, they're underneath the saddle. Like you can't even tell. I'm just going through all these just that way they're not showing up anymore. These look like the most expensive ones, so can't even you can't even really tell. I'll go with this. It seems to blend in with everything else I've got. And then we got a be the bedroll in the back. Wool. Padded. And canvas. Padded ones are the most favored ones. Got russet, walnut. I kind of like the weathered mink. Mix m m matches with the coat. I could go weathered walnut to fit with the rest of the of everything now. We got russet, mink, ivory stone. Let's just go with the standard walnut. Right? Just stick with the standard brown stuff. The brown coloring. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Grooming. Main. Okay, so we can change his color. Short. I think I'll go with a regular main, but this is just me going through everything, just that way I don't have stars on all this stuff. Long, we can braid it. We can do mohawk main. And dreadlock main. We'll just, I think we'll just stick with a regular main. And his tail. Go with that as well. And we're just going to scroll through all these just to get rid of them. Just so they're not showing up as stars next time I come in here for a... Alright, cool. We got that all set up. Services. Horse care package. Yes, fully restores all your hold. Horses. Yeah, I don't think we need it. Well, we don't really need that, but I'm going to buy it anyway because I got the money. Horse provisions. I've already got all that stuff full, but let's just get, let's just fill up on everything that we need. This isn't too expensive. All right, my horse has got all the provisions it needs. It's all good. Hi, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new. Grooming brush. Woo, I can finally brush my, my horse. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. I hope I do. 
I don't want to crash him. He's Looks a beaut. Like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Hold. Let's pat him. Let's be nice. We're gonna try to start you building that. You get in the start building that bond up. Good horse. You gonna mount that new horse of yours or not? I'm taking good care of him. I'm starting to work on the bond. Get off my back, Hosea. Okay, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Woo! Hell yeah, thoroughbred. Now we're gonna go hunt ourselves a bear. Hey, do I? So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. Oh, wow. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yeah, I don't think we want to go to the reservation. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Is this thoroughbred right as we get it? Let's not fall off immediately. Riding round, riding round. I can't even talk to Hosea. Just a nice, quiet ride. Not awkward at all. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything. Been too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Mm -hmm. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. All right, let's try the varmint rifle then. I know I've got the varmint rifle. Ah, there it is. It's already equipped. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. We're hunting rabbits. Uh. I see you. Boom, right in the face. 
You get you get health experience by getting headshots. Not bad. Get back to Hosea. Black-tailed jackrabbit. Good job. All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well then you get it. Set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. View the crafting menu. This is all stuff I've already done and figured out myself. Plain game, yeah, sure. Use X to cook. R2 to eat. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Let's, uh, let's stow that. Let's cook another. And we'll stow a couple. Wait, we ate one, we'll stow two. That way that's three that we can, that we can get from other animals. All right. Well... We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Sleep till the morning. Be worth all this drama. The following morn. <clears throat> morning, Arthur. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know hmm. what you're talking about. Craft. I... Potent predator bait. Ah. Go up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, Old circle to tear down. Oh, okay. Old circle to pack everything up instead of just pressing circle to leave. Okay. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the light? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. <laughs> She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. The truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, 
Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Yes, let let's let us kill bear. Here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dump, bones, any sign of him. Paw prints. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Do I just have the varmint rifle? I need to like equip better weapons. I am not prepared for this type of anarchy. Going to those trees. All right, before. Before we go into anything. I'm going to equip myself some rifles. Springfield and a carbine. Actually, I'm going to equip the carbine and the shotgun because just in case he gets close carbine repeater and the semi-auto maybe a lot more than just dueling pistols Something here. Wait a minute. Fish. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something over this way. Something else on the ground, just here. There she here. Watch your step. <clears throat> Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or... We could place bait here. That could work. Which you think? Let's use the bait. Don't ever split up when you're trying to take on a bear. Let's bait here. Fine by me. We've made Let's the bait the for a reason. There. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Shut up, ducks. Drop down. That bait. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Maybe I should have my high power rifle to kill him in one shot. In Let's distance. just take a look at that bait. Sure. I don't like this. Equip my shotgun. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Yeah, here. Got your knife. Shit. Yep, there it is. Easy. Not too close.
yep. Saw that coming. I saw that coming. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Christ. Oh, for Christ's sake. Alright, where's my hat? Where'd my hat go? I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm okay. Oh, let's get something to eat. God damn. Yeah, that playing game came in handy. Storing that. Whew. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you. I think. That was fun. You know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big Ooh, animals. Ooh, the legendary animal Thank map. You. Nice. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to... Lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, I'll track him. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. See if we can track and finish this thing off. Ooh, wild carrot. Maybe I should have gone with him. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to open the map. Hear you, you some bitch. Pick some more wild carrots. Here, let's do this. We're gonna switch this carbine repeater over to the Springfield. Nope. Oh, for Christ. Crying out loud. It's not what I wanted. Good boy. It's okay, girl. All right, so I think I can place more bait here. I know I've got game, uh, bait somewhere for me to use. Predator bait. Hope not wasting bait here.
haven't lured in, lured in yet. Not seeing nothing. Because my horse is too close, maybe. Let's go, girl. Easy, easy. Put her over here. Show up, you stupid bear. I ain't got the patience. I also got a long way to go now to go back to camp. I should have just gone back with Hosea. How long do I gotta wait? Here, bear. Here, a bear. I don't know if it's the bear. Come on, where are you? Show up. somebody riding on a horse nearby. Hey, what's over here? Somebody something take the bait? We got a trail. Looks a way off. Ah yes, here we go. I'm gonna kill this some bitch, or it's gonna kill me, and this is just gonna be hilarious. One way or the other, it's gonna be fun. Getting close. Looks like the uh, looks like the trail ends here. I see him. Where you think you're going? Hey, big guy. You ain't dead yet. Got him. Got him. We got him. Took you down, you some bitch. Legendary bear killed.
Got that legendary grizzly. All right, it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth... Whoa, hello. Definitely worth taking that guy out. Definitely worth the wait. All right, now we gotta go. Now we gotta get to a. Uh... Get ourselves over to the nearest trapper, so that we can sell this pelt. Now, where is the nearest trapper? Right there. So we gotta ride our way ourselves over that way. Oh wow, it heard me. Let's stow this legendary bear pelt. Get that money, money. Yeah, yeah, that money, money. Yeah, yeah, get that money, money. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know that I have to increase my bottom of my horsey. On the road, let's go. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba da horsey. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Gonna sell that bear. Sell that bear. I screwed up singing this song as I ride along. Gonna make some dough. Legendary bear pelt, son, let's go. Let's go. One legendary animal down. That one was for you, Hosea. Look out. That guy's going just as fast as I am. He's in just as much of a rush. Deers. Say, let's see if we can get our honor up and say hello to this guy. Hey there, mister. Not try it, uh, Morning, fella. Not try to draw too much attention. Or not try not to ride into him. Hey, partner. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Up. Oh. We're right about here. Trapper's in here in the woods. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome back, sir. So, by interstellar. Well, that sounds like a bear. That's not good. Relax, my friend. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Be safe, Rick. You're all right. You're okay. Oh, yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Get it all out. Get it all out. All right, bye. Posters made to order. No choice of hide. Impossible. Okay, let's take a look at it. Sell, sell this. Sell that. And then sixty dollars for legendary bear pelt. Hell yeah. Use the rest of this for crafting. Let's see if we can All what we can buy mention. now. The bear hunter. Now we can get that. We also need the perfect bison a perfect bison pelt, perfect bull hide, and some other perfect things, but we can at least get the legendary bear hat. Woo! 
Basically made 20 bucks off of it. So in order to complete this outfit, we need a perfect bison pelt, perfect bull hide, uh, perfect boar pelt, and two perfect rabbit pelts, which I guess we'll maybe work on later. But I want to put my regular hat back on, so... I got the bear hat. Killing that bear. What's got you stung, huh? What the hell? I'm not trying to take your stuff, dude. I'm just This is where I, you know. Get out of here. I'm I'm leaving. Relax, friend. I'm getting out. I'm getting. I'm going. I'm a going. No need for you to worry. All right, now we'll go ahead and we'll do this one with Leopold Strauss. Thanks. Right over here. Yo, what's up, Jay Walt? You just yeah. missed it. I killed the legendary bear, man. We're running through story stuff and story involved in an encounter with. The, a legendary bear, which got me a map to all the legendary animals, and so I decided to stay or stay behind and track down the bear, and I got him. We just went over to the trapper and picked up our uh, sold off the bear pelt and got ourselves the bear head hat. Yeah. Now we're making our way back to camp. Do more story stuffs. And the line up for a railroad. I don't know if I've been over this over here before. This part of the map. Making them long scenic trips through the countryside. My lovely thoroughbred Rick. Luckily, this guy is pretty fast. Slow up, let him rebuild his stamina so I can get to race running again. Lots of, uh, lots of birds in the air there. How much money was which game? This game, the, uh... Doggy. Idiot. Not concerned. Let's not get distracted. Uh, Red Dead? I bought the collector's edition, which was $100, but it's just standard price. For Red Dead. Like 60, hey, 60 65 bucks. Alright, buddy. Shirk. Starting to drain it. This poor thing's stamina. Yeah, Red Dead is Red Dead Redemption 2 is standard price. 
Uh, like, I think you can get it for $60, $65, whatever the standard price of a video game is. And then they have a couple special editions, I believe one's 80 and then the ultimate edition is 100 It's fun. I'm having a- I've been having a blast doing all the side stuff. Finally getting to go through the story again. Looking forward for Red Dead Online. Looks like we're just about here. Back the camp. Yep. Who's there? It's me, Art. Look who's Slow up now. Our horse. Give the horse a nice little pat, feed it, beat up, build up that relationship with the horse. You're all right, girl. All right. Feed it because I'm I drained its stamina a little bit. Get its stamina back up. Then we'll brush it. Make sure it's clean. Keep its fur well kept. And there we go. Let me get rid of this marker. Well, that's a thing. Don't I know it? It's the most thing I'm scared about. Don't be. I'll be fine. Don't you okay? Uh huh, Morgan. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Whatever. John doesn't seem too happy. I want to go see what Abigail's upset about. Guess I can't greet her. Not letting me. Herr Morgan, Herr Morgan. Mr. Strauss, you busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it What's is. What's up, Sagger? People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. All right, so I gotta apparently collect from those these three people. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Folk, they ain't Is so that bad. Abigail talking to Sadie? Yep. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. Yo, what's up, Lisco? <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. There. Somewhere we can.
can take her. I don't think she has anyone. Nice. Uh, poor woman. All right, well, I should be getting on. On the big laser scripts big screen. Hell yes. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. All right, so let's check out one of these deck collection things. They're getting hungry, Mr. Morgan. Who is? The people you haven't fed. Me? When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Come on, Pearson, really? I've been giving a ton of food to, to this camp. If I'm going to donate, I'll donate. We're going to run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Good. We really needed this. Boom. There you go. go completely empty there you happy you, Arthur. let's see about the upgrades this camp can do with a few improvements Why I'm pretty sure I just unlocked ideas? something because I think if you give three perfect carcasses of anything it unlocks something Hmm, maybe it was a challenge or something. Thanks, Mr. Pierce. Oh, Jesus, Uncle. Sizes may vary, may not be in, in fact with the biggest screen. Oh, boo. Let's go, girl. All right, let's check out this collection thing. Arthur? Miss Karen, how are you getting up? Fine so far. I <laughs> just think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. Interesting. Well, oh, you have fun with that. All right, let's go, Rick. Yeah, I can rear now. Yep. Increased health. Hopefully, increased stamina. Yep, increased stamina looks like too. Yeah. What's this guy doing? Hey there, mister. Why, well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. He's got tobacco. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Copy. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Oh, nice. So basically this... Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Cool. He basically was like, here, come pick some tobacco. Nice. And laser scope. I think I've already started copying my Olympic schedule. You've started copying my Olympic schedule. Only just now getting home. You'll be in a hotel starting Monday for at least eight days. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that life. I remember being a part of that life. All right, girl. I had to do that for three weeks straight, almost a month straight.
Some more I can hitch my horse. Time to do some collecting. I'm not gonna feel good about this. I already know because I've heard about what this stuff entails. Putting on a production is cool, but sucks. <laughs> yeah. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the uh, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you I'm not going to beat him. Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it. I'm just going to threaten him. Stop! Już nie mam siły. No! No, nie! 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 Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! Uh, don't have money, but but you have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Oh, this feels bad. The longer I look, the madder I get. I want cigarettes. If there are premium cigarettes, then yes, because then I can get the card. You must have come here with something. It's very valuable, good? Not good yet. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. God. Morgan's sounding real evil right about now. Better be something somewhere. He seems to be protecting what's behind there. So, uh, Move aside. What's in here? Oh, I'm not taking his wedding ring. I'm not doing that to him. I've taken enough from him. I, I, I'll leave the house. I already took enough. I've taken what's covered of the debt. I'm not gonna take his wedding ring from him. I'm not, gonna, I'm not that evil of a bastard. I've taken enough. I've covered the debt. I've done what needs to be done by the gang. I can get out of here. I just gotta go back and turn, donate it to the camp. I mean, I feel bad for the dude who didn't really okay, 
have too good of a winter, but at the same time, it's like, you know, sorry, man, I came to collect the debt, and it could have been a lot worse. I didn't beat you up. I didn't lay a hand on you. I took only what was needed, and I left. The tithing box. Oh, I can play dominoes now if I want. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work. Kieran. I am not a bad fella. Hey, look, soon warm to little me. Jack. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. <laughs> Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Tie the box. Give all debts. Use the ledger to purchase a camp upgrade. Oh, good. I can finally start using the ledger. <clears throat> Come on, folks. Time to eat. Browse the page to view the camp upgrades. Sharpen the senses. Medicine. Increase the total supplies. Increased. Provisions. Prove our offense. First things first. Dutch wants something comfier. Yeah, let's do this. We'll upgrade Dutch's lodgings to something fancier because then the next thing we can do is uh, upgrade our place. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robel. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. <laughs> Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. I didn't on the poor Polish guy, though. All right, let's go back in the ledger. I want to I want to see if I can buy all the upgrades for the camp now. Oh, interesting. It's got all the like different stuff that you can put in. There we go. Now we got ourselves a map so we can fast travel wherever we need to go. And then we'll improve the tents for the rest of the camp too. I'm basically I'm basically just gonna buy everything. Improve everybody's way of life. Or station. Why not? Call your main horse the camp or access stable horses quickly. Nice. Let's get a chip chicken coop. Looks like the camp's out of fun, so I gotta put some more into in there. Ooh, 
Nice. Pearson can now craft upgrades from a satchel. Perfect. Yeah, good. Yeah, this is all stuff that's coming out of my paycheck now. Good. There we go. The quantity at quality and quantity ammunition available at Arthur's tent has increased. You can pay to resupply munitions when stocks are low. Nice. Throwing knives, shotgun ammo. Upgrade all of the things. Look at all those munitions. Look at them all. All right, let's upgrade Pearson's stuff. Let's restock on this. Making sure that ain't nobody gonna go hungry at the camp. All right, now let's get all the medicine from Strauss upgraded. This is why we went and well, this is why I went searching for all those gold bars when I was off stream to make sure that when it came time for me to update upgrade stuff in the ledger that I had everything. I was able to get everything. I don't need to purchase any more of that stuff. Looks like we got everything bought. Everything's bought. Finish. The camp may not have any funds, but I've fully upgraded the camp. And now we gotta go out here to the next Strauss mission. Let me uh, see if there's anything, any valuables I can donate. Just so there's some money in the camp so I don't feel like a jerk. Yeah, let's give that. Gold pocket watch. Silver pocket watch. And the silver earring. There we go. Now there's at least some money in, in there and I don't feel so bad. And I got honor points, so... Camp is now fully set. Fully upgraded. I can fast travel when I need to go to a certain city. I get quick access to stable horses. All good. Miss Karen, all good? Alrighty, Rick, let's get going. Whoops. Hey there. Just trying to say hi to everybody who passes because it gets a good honor. Come on now, Rick. You'll be alright. You can do it. I believe in you. This way. Up this hill. Yeah. 
almost at this guy's place. Downs! Thomas Downs! 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 Where are you? Oh, Mr. Downs! Thomas Downs! Downs! He's not gonna answer. I'm just gonna walk around. Downs. Where are you? Right, there he is. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Nope, don't do that, buddy. Certainly, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. It's getting dark out. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand. <laughs> Where's I didn't lay a hand on him. I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <laughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. I threatened him, but I didn't take the money. What, am I, like, going to wait a day? Interesting long cutscene going on here. Is he gonna get sick after being coughed on? I guess he's just gonna ride back to camp. It's a cinematic return to the camp. Back to Air Strauss. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my proposition. Oh, maybe that's what it was. He was so close to death. Maybe that was the, effect uh, the effects of his infection rather than me actually beating on him. Am 
what I need to do for gold on that one. Complete within two minutes and ten seconds. Alright, I'm trying to find... It's hard to see. There's Dutch's place. Yeah, here we go. Crafting upgrades is what I wanted to see. Alright, so I need like perfect pelts. Hi, Tilly. In order to build any of these satchel upgrades. Eventually I'll get all this new stuff. Alright, let's get some sleep. We'll go ahead and do the next mission of the morning. Inspect what letter am I inspecting? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, this is his at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Ooh, we're gonna have to go check that out. Let's sleep until the morning. We got the, the two other collections we can eventually do too, which are kind of side missions now. Let's check out this Mary Linton one though. We got Mary Linton, we got Dutch, we got the Reverend, and we got Javier Escuela. Setting out at first light. Let's go, horse. Now you're fine. Let's go. Oof, sorry, that was that was a bad, bad rock right there. Yeah, okay though. You're okay. here. suppose we should just ride on around in front of it. Take 
our time. Hey there. Fine morning. Hi there, mister. Morning. Hey, mister. Just what is your deal? Hey there, mister. Just being friendly and hey, saying hello to everybody. Morning. Morning. Buddy. Good morning, mister. Just north of Valentine. So I'm gonna make a left here. Basically follow this path. Here's where Mary Linton's staying. See what this is all about. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Damn. Linton, a caller for you. She ain't messing around at all. <laughs> she is packing hardcore. Well, hello. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Oh, great. For him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is yeah. Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Damn. Good little dig right there at the end. Okay, girl. All right, where are we going? All the way over here. All right, let's get let's get on a roll. Let's get moving. Let's go find her baby brother. Save him from these mad cultists. I think these are the cultists that uh, worship turtles for some reason. Feel the turtles are sacred. Um, and up north, 
one of the things that I discovered on the map and Arthur doodled was actually like a little house with, uh, hey there. with actual, um, with an actual like turtle like drawn on it. Hey, partner. Large turtle. Yeah. I'm downgraded to the 1080p monitor. Boo. Boo to you, Lazy Scope. How dare you, man? I thought we were friends. I thought we had something. How dare you? Come on. Broadcast in 4K or get Rex Scrub? Oh, boo. Hey, I'm not allowed to hey, broadcast in 4K. That's the thing. I can, since I'm not a, only partners, I believe, can broadcast in 1080p, can, or just above 720. So maybe you should help me out, get more followers. Laser scope. You and maybe everybody else. Get me more followers, get me more viewers. Get me more subs. Then I can become partner, and I can start broadcasting in 4K. There's no 4K on here yet? Oh, okay. Fine. Still, up, help me upgrade to 1080p. Or even 2K. Whichever it is. I don't know if I've been in this part of the forest yet. Right, it's feeling like a good evolution of the first. Oh yeah, I'm loving it so far. It feels... Like... The first Red Dead wasn't exactly a satire like get like uh like Grand Theft Auto is. Yeah, I think 108060 is the highest that it, that they go for broadcasting right now. <clears throat> but um but they did have some like satirical elements and characters. Oh, sir, just in time. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah. Could you uh, please take me to town, please? Uh, why not? I had a bad feeling about this. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that now, man. Don't try to take my horse, you idiot. Had to ask for help, huh? Saw that coming, you fool. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Easy, girl. I saw that coming, you fool. I'll take your money. And your emblem ring. And your venison. Easy, easy. It's alright. It's okay. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't as satirical as Saints Row, but it was still a satire. But like this is this is a lot more um a lot more realistic, a lot more um like dealing with real issues. Very similar to the way Grand Theft Auto 4 was. Don't call me a jackass, dude. Try to horse jack me. So I paid the price. You got a bullet to the back of the dome. I'm I, I'm honestly really loving the story. I'm loving the seriousness of it. I really do think it's an improvement over the first game so far. And the fact that like the map is just so massive, it's the size it's like from what I hear, the end game is basically Red Dead Redemption's two maps. Red Dead Redemption 1's map. It's just part of um, this game's map. <laughs> Shell of safety? What the hell? Go 
I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. Has he? Well, because we, all y'all won't be safe once I put bullets in your head. Let the kid go. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Draw, kick them over the eagles, over the edge, please. Searching. What I know you guys do. For, do you we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. Oh, he let me speak if to him. teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... Jamie, careful. I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on, Jamie. God damn it, man. Maybe I should have just shot the leader in the head. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Ooh, campfire. They're making s'mores. Don't make me lasso you, boy. Really don't want to have to lasso you. Just stop and let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. Yeah. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. Great. What the hell? Wait, seriously? I seriously just die die from that. I seriously just die from that. I wasn't even going that fast. Ah, oh, Christ. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Yeah, right? All the way back to the beginning. Mm, come on! What? Come on! Go, horse! Great. Not into the damn trees. This is not going nearly as well as the first time around. I don't want to kill the horse though. On, Jamie, your sister's worried about I want to just see if I can out if I can just outrun him. Just keep pace with him and outrun him. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. For Christ's sake, 
Jesus, Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. I'm just trying to manage my horse's stamina, and it's going better than it was last time, so. Come on, you damn pain in the ass. Don't actually try and shoot at me. Don't do it, kid. Ah, oh, damn it. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. You idiot. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just... Calm down. Leave me alone. Wait, we hold. Phew. Now calm down. That was Go close. See your okay. Crazy kid. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all it would be nice. Time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. What? All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Oh, damn. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. 
Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Let's hitch the horse. What are you doing? Come on. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Come on, let's go, kiddo. There we go. We going in then? Yeah, we're going. I want to wait for you to actually catch up and stop, you know, getting friendly with the horses. A little too friendly. been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. That's sad. That's real sad. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Silver medal. I, I had to get to him within tw two minutes. So that was basically, I guess, right up there real quick, or or actually speed over there without much of the dialogue. Alright, what's next? I guess next we'll go see the Reverend, then we'll go talk to Dutch. Let's get that honor up. Get those extra discounts. Hey, mister. Buddy. Hello. Hey, partner. You'll see. Our honor's pretty good right now. Pretty nice and high. I feel like I'm accidentally slipping into like a country accent sometimes. Weird. Up, 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 
Don't go down, son. Not nighttime again already. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Almost ran into that dude. Should be paying attention. It seemed ominous. Buddy? Are you crazy? For the love of God. Hey, cool it. All that for what? You're walking a real thin line. Real thin. All right, simmer down. Move it. You're gonna be Count late. It. Closing that. This is where we'll go for the Reverend. Let's wait for this. Uh, feed the horse. We'll start this mission with the Reverend, which will be done at night, so that'll be fun. Inside. Swanson, you in here? Come on. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? Oh, Christ. He's a good man, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> Not for crying out loud. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, see. He's unconscious. Why not? Then. Oh crap, he's crawling away. God damn it. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, are you two know each Queen other King anyway? Unsuited. Don't seem like a lock best of friends. You don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Here. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair. Is You're already? God damn. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge. Fair queens. To all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand I'm just gonna go all in. Screw it. Forest day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Well, wow, Ace is bad. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, Mister. That's ten. I check. Two pair. Check. There you go. Tens of queens. Finale from me. Don't laugh. Parades. Yes. 
Yeah. For Christ's sake. <laughs> yes. Give me all them chips. I'm gonna clean these guys out. Ooh, if I win five hands. Hard lines, partner. Just settle down. I almost got this one guy out already, and then there's just this other guy. Let's see what we got. Six eight suited. Yeah, call. Call. Gonna start small here. Makes sense. I'll call since I got two cards suited. Let's see what happens here. Got a pair of sixes. Nah. That's yeah, like I was in 16 cents. Somebody put on his big boy pants this morning. Hmm. Hmm. They all called, all right. Nine. Not for me. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. 28 cents. Let's see. I got a pair of sixes. Yeah, let's see. call it. Oh. Let's see what this guy's got. I might just go all in and force him to go all in to see what happens. It's a very good chance I don't win this hand. Mm. I'm going to see if he's bluffing. Just because I've got oh, plenty. What do we got? Uh, no. <laughs> this ridiculous. He had a natural pair of eights. I had a pair of sixes. I almost had him. Damn. Pocket eights. Keep if there going. was another six. You lucky son of a bitch. Wish I'd got your friend to bless my hand before he passed out. I reckon you're Damn, pockets. Bluffing. Pocket eights. Jesus. Four eights suited. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see how that goes. Check. I'm a check. Three, four, five, six. Let's start this low for now. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to fifty cents. Let's wake up a little, shall we? I'll happily take all that off your hands. Need a two or a seven. Come on, two or seven. Pair of fives. Queen high. Check. Nah. Come on, two or seven, two or seven, two or seven, four. Well, I got two pair now. I'm going all in. All in. Damn it. See if I can just... Oh, come on. Pot. Here. How do you like this? Damn it. Oh, that's fair enough. Ah. Three fives. Nice. I had two pair. And just like that, I'm out. One one hand and lost two. No. That's the way it goes. Oh, I still got 48 sure. cents left, apparently, even though I just went all in. I guess they want me to play a few hands. They want me to keep playing. I'll keep playing. Let's see what each of us is made of. On the inside of me. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Reverend's Back dead at this point, it. by the way. But oh well. I got money to win. This has been quite the eventful day. Alright, let's see. Six eight suited again. Call. This is what qu killed me last time. Okay then. Screw it then. I'm gonna go all in. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna you call that guy's right. thing, I might as well just go all in. Okay. Either better get out of the hand or go all in. Wow, these guys are. I don't like this. Please let me get six eights or a flush. Fives with a six eight and a ten. None of those suited. Five, six, yeah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. 
Oh, I'm so screwed. I check. I need an eight or a six in, in that final hand. I need an eight or a six. And I'm dead. Check. Anybody needs a diamond? Read him and weep. <laughs> How about that? Well, He's ha he had the diamond I'll flush. That's just a crappy situation where it's like I've got like next to nothing. Like what am I gonna do? I might as well go on. Too impressive. Oh, that's a decent hand. Hmm. Better than am I done? Are they gonna? Am I done now? Are they gonna magically give me like another fifty cents? Yep. <laughs> it. This is getting too rich for me. I don't think yeah. Lyra's down. Return. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend, where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Gotta go find the Reverend now. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him. Smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Yeah, I look kind of crazy, mister. No, you have no idea. Who's <laughs> my horse? Have you lost your mind? Here's my horse. Yeah. Reverend, stop! Oh, yeah. Get your hands off him. I'm sorry, you're gonna what? Oh good, I'm glad I failed this. Because I didn't want to do that at all. <laughs> the law were alerted. Alright, I just gotta punch this guy. That's all. Not shoot him. I just panicked. Wait, what? What do you mean? What? Are you serious? Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! Stop, you son of a bitch! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? Alright, here we go. That's all I need to do. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Oh shut. Got it. Phew. Alright. Cause I think the way that you normally do it is now what where's Reverend? Is he getting to a, you can get into a fist fight with him. And you kill him in the fist fight. God damn it, Reverend. Well, before I, um... Let's just kill one of these. This dude's body over here still? No. Yo, why is the day night cycle going by so goddamn quick? You crazy? And I feel like the day night cycle has been like just accelerated so much. My stamina is getting updated, upgraded. Oh God damn it, Reverend! It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it out! Get it out! Move out of the way! Jesus Christ! 
What a jerk. What's an answer to most crazy things? Oh, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Oh, God. You idiot. Drug addicted fool. Will you shut up? Yep. Hey. Don't want to go off the cliff. No to the cliff. No cliff. Cliff bad. So sleepy. Hey, mister. So Hitch the horse. There we go. Hitch the horsey. This drunken fool in his bed. Sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Alrighty, that's done. Now we just got Dutch and Javier Escuela. Win two hands, and I only won one. Great. Alright, so we got Dutch to talk to, and then we got the Javier Squirrel thing to re try and rescue Sean. Let's talk, about du Let's talk to Dutch. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Officer, what's going on? They got Micah. He he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. God they damn it, Micah. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? what? The fool brought this on himself. 
You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Oh, great. Prison break. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Alright, to the Valentine Saloon. Alright. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Mike knew. Drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Well, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Gonna go get crunk. Time to say hi to all the people. Hey, partner. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hey. You remind me of a feller I used to know. You think you're clever? Hey. Watch where you go with you. Careful. Evening, mister. All right, let's hope we don't get into a fight again. Busy bar. Two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big job. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. 
Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> the hell is this dude on a boat? Leave the fool Moron. Alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to cause any trouble. We already caused one fight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, they're getting messed up. Oh my god, that's a thing you see. Oh god. I've had nights like this. Can you not get in a fight? Really? That's a that's that's a thing. How long is he gonna be doing this for? It's been a while. Oh, there we go. All right, he's done. Oh my god! This is goddamn hilarious. <laughs> Oh god, don't tell me that's Lenny pissing against the door. It's totally Lenny. <laughs> oh, nope, that's not Lenny. There he is. Oh god. I think maybe if we find the person, like, everybody looks like Lenny. What is going on? Everyone has Lenny's face. I don't like this. I am not okay with this. I am not okay with this. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. I know what outfit Lenny had on, so we just gotta find Lenny. In his outfit from earlier, which oh god, which one is it? I don't. None of them look like Lenny. Is 
Is Lenny in one of the rooms, maybe? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna... I knew that wasn't him. Is he in this room? Is he in here? Here. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my Jesus! Um. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. What is Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Slap. Slap it. Slap it. <laughs> oh my god. This one. You're a good friend of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna drown him. <laughs> oh my god, a pig? What in the hell is going on? Yep, yep, that's how that night ends. Let's go. What, man? What the hell? What did we do? Hop the fence. Did I get away? I think I got away. You just saw Rangers replay that some guy named Pionk basically found out the Montreal doesn't play defense on a foreign forest scenario. Really? End to end goal 94 style. I'm going to have to watch that highlight. Yo, Johnson Jamie, how's it going, man? Welcome into the chat. How are you doing? How are things? That was one of the most interesting scenes in a video game I've ever... That was that was a trip. That was a thing that we all just experienced together. You moron. Not again. Yep. I know, I know, I know how that feels. Don't get arrested. Catch Lenny in the act. <laughs> Try to make amends with an old rival. Oh, I guess if you run into the guy that you beat up in with Tommy in the bar, you can, I guess you can run into him. Not again. But now the question is, what happened to Lenny? There's a stranger over here. Where the hell? I ended up way far away from Valentine. Alright, so there's nothing there. Nothing left the camp. So I guess I gotta do the Javier Squale thing next. We'll see what the stranger is about. Oh no, we gotta go do the Micah thing. Left the horse in. I gotta make my way back to Valentine. 
eventually. I'm gonna go see what's up with this stranger first. Oh, I don't want to run over to... I don't want to run all the way over to Micah. It's over here. Ooh, wait, there's a plant that I can examine right here. Some berries. Raspberries, nice. Is this where I play poker? I'm guessing this is a poker stranger mission. Yeah, because this is where I played poker before. They used to call him the flush king. Move your ass! Just get out of my way. Didn't mean nothing by it. Suppose you think you're funny. Well, hey there. Where is this stranger mission? There's a stranger mission around here somewhere. Is it this guy? It's gotta be this guy. Yep, here we go. Do you smoke, sir? Oh, this has gotta be the smoke the cigarette card guy. Oh, don't worry about these. Actually, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. Is it a little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Why don't you just buy the packs for the cards and just not yeah, smoke the cigarettes? It is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. What the hell? I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rand Bottom. At your service. <laughs> bottom. Okay, I Rams run. Bottom. This is my train. Yeah. Bottom. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. All right, gotta collect them cigarette cards, get complete sets. <laughs> Bottom. Neus T. Rams Bottom. Cardophilist and Ephemera Collector. Hmm. All right. I'm guessing I gotta make my way back up to Valentine. Because that's probably where I left my horse. Yep. <laughs> yep, the minions. Hit bottom. So I gotta run my ass all the way back to Valentine to get my horse. Don't you be trying nothing, Fox? With that, you're winding down. Back to the grind. All right. Later, later, laser scope. Thanks for ch checking in. Thanks for coming and hanging. Yeah, let's build up that stamina. That's a cliff. That is that is certain death. Ooh. Plant. 
American ginseng. Let's eat some. Let's see what happens. Ooh, level 8 stamina. My stamina is going to be practically all the way to level 10 by the end of this. on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah. We need you, John. Sounds good. Alright, so maybe I'll just run into the camp. I think I can maybe call him from there. station. Retrieve Rick. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Go ahead and poop there, Rick. Alright, let's see if we can't rescue Micah. And then I think I might call it a stream and we'll leave the Javier Escuela mission for next time which should bring an end to chapter 2 because it's getting late and I need to be heading to bed but this is the mission that Dutch started us on so let's finish it up strawberry which is a bit of a trek a bit of a hike ah. hey, oh, my hey. horse is dirty I gotta clean I gotta give him some brushing some brushing love gotta groom the poor boy horse bond level three bit get his health up we'll brush him one more time take it easy yep. alrighty You're a red boy. You're okay. Coming up on a couple carriages. This is that, uh, that cursed treasure map. Here. I'm just happening upon it. Easy, easy. Let's talk to this dude. Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You 
you ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well... <laughs> hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot tail. Don't you follow this me This is now. as nice as I'm gonna ask. Hand it over. Now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't no need for that. And... I'm sorry. I thought I told you to hand it over. Now I ain't gonna kill you, but I'm gonna t sure as hell take it. Come on now, you gotta cut me loose. Now, that insult. Come on, you got your map. You'll be rich from it. Enough for a, a whole night with your favorite style. Think about it. Now. Let me go. Go ahead. Get out of here. No. Yeah, get out of here. I got what I came for. You said treasure map. I was going to take. Get myself some more gold bars and some more money. Dude ain't going to be honest with me. Taps offer to sell it to me. I'll just take. This is the old west after all, and I am an outlaw. I might be honorable, but I ain't perfect. Buddy? Shut your mouth. Alright, simmer down. Yep. Hmm, logging camp. I'm actually going to strawberries. That works. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little uh, demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, no, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Hmm. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bes spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. <laughs> Little taken. like it. Come on. Oh, yes. This does look familiar. Hey there, mister. Howdy, partner. There we there it is. Not much further now. Hey there, mister. Waiting on you. Hello there. Oh, are we 
close to town. Yes, we're almost there. Almost quite there. And just like that, I just redeemed my honor from stealing the map from that crazy kook. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. I'll look into it. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. All right, let's go take care of Micah now. my horse to this post over here? Yes, I can. Good. Good work. Yep. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Tom O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Yikes. Let me out of here, you maggots. Where are you, Micah? There you are. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people <laughs> wanting to see you Swing. You got to do something, Arthur. No, oh, what am I gonna do? This wall just needs some good force. Find a way to free Micah. Dynamite, maybe? Maybe that steam donkey over there still Might works. Might want to step back a bit. Steam donkey? Let's see. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull it off. Much better than dynamite. Doesn't make as much of a noise. Isn't it sunny? Uh, sudden. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. <laughs> uh, here we go. Thanks. 
Sorry, Sheriff. Sorry, mister. Please stay down. I don't want to have to kill you. I really don't, but I'm gonna... Stay still. Stop moving. If this ain't frustrating. Keep shooting. Don't give up on me now. Oh God. Go Look out. We got more coming in. Really? Okay. Yep, right I'll shut his hat off at least. I should probably switch to my pistols. Oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't realize you were still alive. Micah, you son of a bitch, you're ruining my honor rating. I worked hard for this stuff. You know how many people I said hello to in villages? Damn jerk. Psychotic son of a bitch. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. I really should not have let Micah go. Right in the face. Micah, you're in my way. Thank you. Got my dead idol level 5 at least. Well, once I reload. There we go. I'm sorry. Were you trying to kill me? You're a jerk, Micah. I swear to God. Royal pain in my ass. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you wanna get out now? Here. Now's the time to leave? Damn it! How many of these sons of bitches are there? Keep riding, Morgan! I don't have much choice. Okay. God, I hate Micah. Ow! 
Ah, you hit me, you asshole. Oh, God, right in the temple. All these horses. All these horses. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. <laughs> he was gonna let me have right. it. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, here's oh, good lord. just got your back. Some that is a bad thunderstorm that's brewing. Hold. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to <sighs> camp where I'm back a strawberry. God. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Well, that was the thing. Offhand holster, which I already had. <laughs> Yeah, I was already able to dual wield. Oh, I got 15 headshots. Complete with at least 70% accuracy. Damn, complete the, uh, the mission without taking any health items. Well, I had to do that, unfortunately. Cool. I have a eighty-five dollar bounty wanted wanted in strawberry. I guess I should probably go pay that off in uh, over in Valentine. Then we'll head back to camp. We'll call it a stream. We'll just have this Javier Squala mission to do next as we try to rescue Sean. So. I think with that, I'm, I'll go pay off the bounty off stream, and I'm going to leave you guys all here with the end of this mission with Micah. Mike is a crazy bitch. I feel like he's going to be the death of me. So. Oh, my God. It's going to be interesting to see how things progress. We got to meet the Reverend. We got to get, a little, get to know Mike a little bit more. We had a crazy night out at the, at the saloon with, uh, with Lenny. I wonder if he's still um, okay or if he got taken in by the cops. I guess we'll find out. Um, and, yeah, we got to have an interaction with Dutch. Uh, and we got to go on a, an adventure hunting a legendary bear with Jose and actually taking out the legendary bear, the first legendary weapon. We got a map so that way I can get more treasure for more gold bars. And we got the legendary animals that I can start going after. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we'll be doing the Javier Escuela mission to try and uh, bring back Sean. I believe it's going to be the final mission of chapter two. Hopefully I'm probably reaching the end of chapter two um, And yeah, we'll continue see how the story of Red Dead goes from there. Thank you all so much for watching 
Hope to see you in the next edition. Uh, do not forget that I live stream. If you're into wrestling stuff, wrestling games, I live stream WWE 2K19 My Career every Monday from 1 to 3 p.m. 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Goes up on Tuesdays. I try to do Red Dead whenever I get a chance, and then it's uploaded to YouTube on the next day. And I do a wrestling podcast every week. But do not forget also to follow me on Twitter at L underscore Murfo. Same for Instagram if you want to follow along with my social media musings. And don't forget to join my Discord server, which is in the description of the YouTube video as well as on the channel page on Twitch. Thanks to everybody who came and watched and joined in in the chat. Big Stupid, Laserscope, uh, Cam, Stagger, JTD, Johnson, Jamie, everybody else who joined. Footballers, J Walt, appreciate you guys all coming in and keeping me company for a little bit. Chatting me up and enjoying watching the stream. I'll keep. I'll see you all later. Peace, deuces, deucey deuce. Laters, everybody. Until next time, cinematic and fade.